can do more of the same of that, he should have some pretty good fortune in this one here today. Here's Starling Marte, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground to second, taken in by Forsythe. And there's one down there. That is covered. The left fielder, David Peralta. Riding into the box, number six. To show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Here's the first pitch to him. Pitch popped up. And that's in there, base hit. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a the soft first liner, first finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually Thank hits rockets ball. and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball. Well, that's ball off right. the plate away. It's ball one. Dan Dero, these Phillies, as they begin play here today, they come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Yeah, Matty B. It hasn't been the best of times, D-Row. They've lost the first three games of this set at home. And the last thing you want to do is to get swept in a four-game series at home. You need to win this one. Yeah, it can't happen. Ball, can't get right. swept four games in a row on your home turf. Watch for the manager to make he's going to make moves and he's going to make them quick. I don't know what they're going to be pitching, hit and run. Something's happening today. Runner, he's on the going. move for second. Popped him up. Turner has room in foul territory. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. That is four. The first baseman, Christian Walker. So here's the cleanup hitter, Christian Walker. He's been productive at the plate in the series with six hits coming into this one. First delivery to him on the way. Yep, that ball went out. And this one's in the dirt. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2 and 0. Oh. On the stretch. But swing just got to try and straighten that one out. The 2 1 home. Smoke toward the hole. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And he will still manage to get him at first. A spectacular all around play, and the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Now it'll be the Phillies' turn. No score. Zach Gallen gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty I mean, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the game. Not shortstop. Gene Segura. Now here's the pitch. Hey! So guys, these Diamondbacks, as they begin play, they're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. Yeah, Matty, without question, this team is on a roll offensively, defensively, from the pitching standpoint. If they could steal this one again and continue this winning streak, it'd be special. Oh, right, Bureau, this team's out. playing some really good baseball right now. When you get on a roll, you like to continue that roll. And if they could pull off this one and keep that streak going, they'd feel awfully good about themselves. The 1-1. One, one. Hit down the line at first. They'll take it to the oh. bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Andrew. Andrew. 
set to get his day started. Andrew Benintendi. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Got a pitch to the yep. ballpark's okay. dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. And set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. One and two. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull a trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. Two out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. One ball, two strikes. Three. And strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Still no score. So here's Scooter Jeanette as it'll be five, six, and back. seven due up to kick off the second inning. Scooter Jeanette. First pitch coming. Here it is. 1 0. Straight away right. Harper has a read on it. One down. That is fifth. The right fielder. Cole Calhoun. Cole Calhoun will stand in now. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Just outside. off the outside, and it's 1 0. That's okay. wide, 2 0. Swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just fouled into the second deck. No score here as we play inning number two. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Carson Kelly will be next. Called strike, and that'll run it full. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. 
Try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and that's something you see quite a lot on three and two. And the difference between striking out and drawing a walk and can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. Here comes the first pitch. Right side hit hard. And that is through into right field for a single. Batting in. The shortstop, Nick Ahmed. Ready now, Nick Ahmed. He comes into this one really slumping. The numbers there over the past several games, not very pretty. First pitch to him. Ball one, no strike. Kelly leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Ball two. two balls and no strikes. Ahmed stands six two as you see him in the right-handed box. He was taken in the second round back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, That's but you know three. what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You three go in the high no rounds friends. and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. He's set and the 3 and 0 offering. Down is 3 and 1. Good nope. at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. At the plate, Zach Gallen twos all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. First pitch on its way. And not the greatest of starts to the oh, at-bat as he reaches for one out of zone for strike one. Ooh, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. And he misses with it one and one. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The 2-1 pitch. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. A 2 2 pitch. Two men are on with two men out. Waved at and missed with the third out. Not much of a chance of hitting that one, and the inning is over. Diamondbacks strand a pair. We go to the bottom of the second, no score. Nine at bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. Here comes the first pitch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Changeup stays outside and is behind 2 0. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. 
He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat starting right now. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Now the 2 1 pitch. Well, you can see here, this has been a steady diet of off speed pitches. And what has it gotten him? Not a whole lot as he's fallen behind in the count. Three balls in one strike. Three and two, full count. Now, payoff pitch home. Swung on and missed strike three. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitching for me personally. Watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. At the plate now, Justin Turner. And he'll take a look at ball one. The average coming in, 257. 13 home runs and 31 RBI. Wind up. Here comes the 1-0. Well, off the plate. Turner, a veteran at 35 years of age. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Batting good. Yay. Here's Jay Bruce now, and you can see he really enjoys hitting here at Citizens Bank Park, which is not a shocker. It's a good place to be a hitter. First offering on its way. A swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance though as it landed in the upper deck. The 0 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hey, he threw that pitch for the purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by though as a hitter. 1 1. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. He's set and the one-two pitch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3 2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Now here comes Ron Washington out of the dugout and on his way to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart here, but I would imagine he's seething inside as he hasn't given up a run this afternoon. Taylor Clark enters from the pen in just the second inning, so they'll hope to get some length out of him and have him stay out there for a while. First assignment here is he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup, nothing in one. Way the 0-1 pitch. 
Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Now the Diamondbacks get a left-hander up and working in the bullpen. Bottom of the second here with no score. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Ready to deal. Here's the 2-1. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting a fastball counts like 3-1. and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drop. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. First and second now, one man out. And fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We we'll see if he can feed off that game, wiggle out the jam, and keep this game tied. Into the box now, Logan Forsythe as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Getting on base, a big problem as you see the average there. Three homers, 10 RBIs. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Clark. Originally from the state of Virginia, he's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. Bouncer to the left side. A hit two left. He played two full, and we are tied, nothing, nothing. Back now in Philadelphia, home of the Phillies, who've certainly benefited from some solid pitching all season long. With one of the best team ERAs in the league, it's pretty clear they command a lot of attention and praise. Before the game, one pitcher told me that he thinks their success comes in large part due to their strikeout abilities, a category where they also rank near the top of the league. He said, even when we do get ourselves into trouble, most of us can dial up a strikeout and help get ourselves out of it. And that makes a huge difference over the course of the season. Power the arms and nasty stuff. Apparently, that is the key to pitching, guys. All right, thanks, Heidi. Third baseman in tight, protecting Bunt, the first pitch. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Here comes the 0-1. No, cool. Here's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. And now a pitch on the way. Okay. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas, so. When you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. And he lays off their ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. And that's what you want from your leadoff now hitter. Shows some great patience in this one, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. So coming to the plate, David Peralta, one for one after a single his first time up. Comes set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And the 0 1. That's 
a strike to throw down. Tagged by Segura. They're going to get him at second base. No score to this point. Grounded to first. Hoskins has it. And he'll step out of first himself for the out. Not a the lot you can do with that pitch. Pass. That fastball just ate him out. up inside That's and gets the soft grounder for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar. First delivery to him on the way. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. And it's fouled away. Another one sent foul. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Slider and look out. That's up in the danger zone. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. Two out, nobody on. Hit out towards second. Forsyth has it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Nothing doing for Arizona. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Howie Kendrick will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 49. Howie. Line drive base hit into the left center field gap. Around first, he's digging for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not what he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident, driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going. Gene Segura standing in, and he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here, but at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that run in the third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. Slider, oh look out of that one just about took his nose off. The 1 0. Two ball, no play. Always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. Now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Tight Reno. with that one. Three and zero. Oh. Andrew Benintendi waits on deck. He's set. Here's the three zero. Oh. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Not the ideal location for a changeup up of the zone, but he got away with it. 
And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. When a guy's been swinging the bat as well as he has in this series, you definitely want to take the bat out of his hands. A free pass to first is better than what he's been doing the last couple of games. Left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Set and the pitch. Cool, the one up. He pulls this one into right. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you have to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. pitch on its way Aye. and a strike called at the knees nothing in one hey I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there it's a good opportunity to see what he's got also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be found in the strike zone runners at second and third here nobody out that misses wide one ball and one strike Here's one that misses now to the Philly right fielder. It's two balls and a strike. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. The 2-1. There's a good swing by Harper, but this will drift foul off to the right and out of play. up the Sacramento product oh, Reese down. Hoskins ball one to start the at bat one ball and one strike to the Phillies first baseman wow what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds right you're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. A ball and two strikes One now. Two it's strikes. not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Liner toward right center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Runner will go no further than second if there are two aboard now. What's so frustrating is it takes a make a ball and pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like, the knock's a knock. First pitch. This one's down to third. Jeanette has it for one. Back to first, but he wasn't able to get enough on the throw, and he'll just get one. 
Now he definitely rushed himself on that return throw to first there. And he threw it away. They got the force at second, and the runner didn't advance, so it'll just be scored a fielder's choice. Settling in now, Jay Bruce threw a base on ball his first time up. From the stretch, strike taken up in the zone. Hey, the way this guy on the mound's been struggling to find the zone, I'm not mad at the guy taking the pitch. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Three runs already home here. off inside and it gets away. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hey, this is one of those tough outings as a reliever. You just have to keep throwing strikes and believe sooner or later this inning is going to turn around. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Fouled off. Might have swung at ball four there as he manages to foul this one away. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit out towards second. Jeanette is there. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. So three runs on four hits. No errors and a man left on. Three innings complete. It's the Phillies three and the Diamondbacks nothing. Francisco Liriano, southpaw, standing six foot three, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Francisco Liriano, all set for the start of the fourth. Here comes the first baseman, Christian Walker. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning start. Line to the right side. A dive, but it's off his glove. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six so games. Yeah, three. no doubt about it. Second six eight. days in a row with knocks mm -hmm. will help you sleep better at night. Here's the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. Hey. And she'll take a changeup here to strike one. In his career, Jeanette carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. It's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. No runs, three hits, no errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Two balls and a strike to Jeanette. Two one. Nope. 
Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Uh, three, one. Hey! Three, two. Fouls this one off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Scooter swings and sends it out to deep right. Not quite out of here. It's off the out of town scoreboard. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Every hitting coach in the league will tell you it only takes one swing of the bat to get out of a slump, and maybe that's what we're seeing right here. He's been struggling, no doubt about it, but he's able to lace this thing off the wall, and he's standing at second with some newfound confidence. So now to the plate, Paul Calhoun, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in a strike. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. As a look, now the pitch. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1 and 1. Men in scoring position here with none down. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have got them on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Fouled away. him up. Turner is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Now that and while we have a moment here let's look at the Phillies road to the show report. Two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now. Kelly. And we'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. A base hit in his first trip. Here's the 1 0. And it's fouled away. For the series, he's three for 12. First offering on its way. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. With runners in scoring position this season, Ahmed brings a batting line of barely over 200, so there's certainly some room for improvement there. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. One ball, two oh, he points. went for yeah. the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. He has to be greedy, working the outside of this strike zone. He cannot allow 
this guy to get back in this count, especially with the pitcher on. The one two. Outside, that's the ball. One run, four hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Fly ball right down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Fouled off. Here's the 2 2. Outside in a full count, 3 and 2. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And he missed with it there, ball four. It's a two out walk with the runner still at third. That's a nice job to work that walk right there. Even if it doesn't lead to anything on the scoreboard this inning, it prevents the pitcher from having to lead off of the next one. Just one of those small things that might go unnoticed, but in the end, make a big difference. Now batting, Taylor Clark, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Runners on first and third, two away. Swing and a miss here. He's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself. Nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in the run. Not in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Still 0 and 2. Hey, have an AB right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. He struck him out. In and out of trouble as the inning is over. Only one in the inning for Arizona. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Phillies three and the D-backs one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Bottom part of the zone. A good changeup gets the call. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. There to take it in is Jeanette for the first out of the inning. Now back, second baseman, Logan. Fourth time. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, the veteran middle infielder, Logan Forsythe. First pitch of the at-bat. We'll start one him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Uh, 
High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And that one is good. Solo shot here to the left. Fourth home run for him on the season. And the Phillies have opened it up now. It's 4-1. Just one of those parks where the ball seems to jump off the bat a lot more during the day. This is the first one of the day, but we might see a few more before this one's over. Alex Young, a six foot two inch left hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Alex. Yeah. And now Francisco Liriano as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and all. Bases are empty, one man. Out. Comes back with the cutter and gets it by him. One and one now. Now here it comes. And he fouls this one off. One, two. Popped him up. Kelly over to his right. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The batter, number two. Shortstop, D. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring in Gene Segura. First delivery to him on the way. A ball and no strikes. Kind of surprised not to see a fastball on the first pitch there. The guy's probably taking at least one pitch to give his pitcher the chance to sit down after he already made the second out. The 1 0 home. Offered at and missed for the first strike. Out, one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one two. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And He's that out. ends the inning. Tag on one more on this solo home run. We played four. It's now four to one, Philadelphia. And we're back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the D-backs offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready for another shot now. Starling Marte. It was a walk in his last trip. Darling. Marquette. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yeah. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. Go, Set to deliver the 0-1. Well, that's off the plate.
sent out to straightaway center field. Bruce has a read on it. One away. Up next to the diamond back, the left fielder, David Peralta. Now with the plate, David Peralta, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Pitch on the way. Nope, that's inside. Fifth inning here in a four to one ballgame. This yep, is just off the out. outside corner, ball two. The two of them. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And fouled, though it had the home run distance. Now the 2 1 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And Bruce has got this one two away now. The third baseman, number five, Eduardo Escobar. Into the box now, Eduardo Escobar. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch on its way. A high fastball is in there. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. And as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0 2 multiple ways up down in and out throw the breaking ball a lot of different ways to get guys out and the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone so one two three go the Diamondbacks they trail it four to one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said it was clear his guys were locked into their at-bats from the very first pitch. And that's something they emphasized in the pregame meetings. He's happy they got the message, as now they've gotten into the bullpen. And they put up some solid run production in the early part of this game. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in is the outfielder, Andrew Benintendi. But fastball inside, ball one. Mm, two and oh. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. Three and oh now. Trouble waiting on deck as Bryce Harper gets next. A 3 1 count to the Phillies left fielder. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Eight, and it's two. up to a 3 2 full count now. Count is full. 3 and 2. Here we go. Fouled away. The next 3 2. Hit in the air out toward left. Peralta is there and he has it for the out. Now that right fielder, Brian Harper. And Bryce Harper will dig into the play. He 
singled and drove home two his last time. First pitch coming, here it is. Right side and right into the chip. And that's through, a base hit. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock. Oh, 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 and I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking oh, we really avoided a ruler's fate. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. He's working on a one for two game so far. Inside now as he can't get extended there and it's 0-2 now. Still no balls and two strikes. The 0-2 once more. Misses, that's ball one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Peralta's after it. He makes the running play. Two down. Up next for Philadelphia, the third baseman, Justin Turner. So next to the plate for the Bills, Justin Turner. A hit in two tries for him so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Philly strand one, but they lead it four to one. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and stepping in the long ball. Christian Walker. Walker. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit out towards second. Throw to first he gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Up next to the diamond back, the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Scooter Jeanette. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you are swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. him up Turner in foul ground but this will land untouched one out nobody on skied in the air to straightaway left Ben intending is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out now batting the right fielder Cole Calhoun. Stepping in, Cole Calhoun. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. Fastball okay. just misses. That's ball one. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Here comes the 1 0. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the play. Now, some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. Sixth inning, 4 to 1 is our score. And 
and he'll fall behind now to one and two. Tough fastball that time, but he hangs with it to stay alive. Two pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Hit to first. Hoskins gathers it in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Diamondbacks down in order. And this is still a 4 1 ball game. of the sixth inning now and stepping into the dangerous left-handed hitter Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce. First pitch on its way. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Peralta is under it. Makes the play one away. Now batter. The catcher, Zach Collins. Digging in to try it again, Zach Collins. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First offering on its way. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. Second. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first because they were yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, This is not an easy play oh, here yeah. for Reigns to get right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Logan Forsythe will stride in again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. Solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. Pitch coming, here it is. Went about hey. halfway there, but it's a called strike one, regardless. Got him to go after oh, that one. He's count. in a quick hole, 0 and 2. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way from such a deep up in the world? So good. These days, you're not seeing a lot of people as a specialist in the end of your outfield. You're in that starting lineup these days. There's a pretty good job you can swing about. Nope. Start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Ready with the 1-0. Or, or just Kutch, as he's frequently referred to, he was selected in the first round back in 2005. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself Whoa, into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name. The kids are buying his jerseys. Three and one. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. Line to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. He's set. Here's the three and two. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Marte going back at the track. 
but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. McCutcheon ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And he's safe at the plate. And it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. Boy, the home fans are loving that inside the parker. Looked like he was carrying a piano around his back when he rounded third, but he made it. Somebody get him an oxygen mask. At the plate, Gene Segura. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. And it'll wind up hanging just long enough for him to run it down. And with that, the side is retired. Another good inning here for the Phillies. And the brotherly love is in abundance now. On to the back third here this afternoon. And we've got it for you on the show. With Zach Eflin will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. Number 52, Zach Eflin. Seventh inning ready to roll. Reading now it will be the catcher, Carson Kelly. It doesn't Carson. look very promising so far this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Benintendi. One down. Now batting. Shortstop, Nick Ahmed. So striding in, Nick Ahmed. A couple of walks for him thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. Wind up and the 0 1. Nope. Ball one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1 and 1. Here's the pitch. Two balls, one strike. I went after the high one there, a swing and a miss. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And that will never threaten the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. And this is swung on and bounced to Forsyth at second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Infielders are taught from the time they hold the glove that you've got to play the ball and not let the ball play you. You can see here that this one just ate him up and he couldn't recover in time. Jake Lamb will be summoned off the bench here. So pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. Jake Lamb. Quite catch the zone there, ball one. He'll enter play with that batting average, still shy of the 220 mark. Six home runs, 13 RBIs. One 0 pitch. And it's fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. Looked at for ball number two. Runner at first here, one man out. And he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here, two and two now. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. 
set and the 2 2 pitch. Thank you. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3 2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now the payoff pitch home is swung on and missed. He got him. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down the in the zone, field. hoping for a ground ball. So Darling. that was an interesting pitch Mark selection Hitch. to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Digging in next will be Starling Marte as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Hit back up the middle. And the inning will continue if that's through for a two out hit. You know, D World, the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going for a bad streak like this guy, well, any way you can get on a little jam game. shot, even though it well, wasn't pretty, well, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can tell you how good that had to feel right like there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk with him because you're scuffling so bad. Stepping up now, David Peralta. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. That's a ball. Count one and oh. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. This is lined to left. And to a slide, and he makes a great catch to retire the side. And he's got one grateful pitcher after this one. A beautiful sliding catch for the third out. The three of us are back with more following this. Number 37 will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Number 37. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. Way to go. For the Phillies. The left fielder. Andrew. Here comes the first pitch. Benintendi. Popped him up. Kelly shading to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, or pop up to start the inning. So one gone in the inning now, and that will bring in the right fielder, Bryce Harper. Infield in the over shift here, now the pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Harper behind with an 0-2 count now. Action now in the Arizona bullpen as they have a right-hander up and throwing. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. This is one and two. A 
great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Standing in now, Reese Hoskins. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Here's the pitch. One and one. <laughs> Hit on the ground toward the left. There is a man. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Phillies down in order. They hold on to their six to one lead. Mike Morin is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his fifth appearance of the year. Number 28, Mike Morin. Eduardo Escobar will have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. Eduardo Escobar. First pitch of the at bat. Inside ball. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Here comes the 1-0. No Too tight with Good that one. one. Three and oh. Right hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. Good comeback there. It's three and one. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Now batting. The first baseman. Christian. So digging in now, Christian Walker is working on a one for three thus far. First pitch on its way. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Hey. It's taken. Now it's 0-2. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. Two count. Here's the pitch. I got to count one and two. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Fouled off. Try it 2 2. Rounded back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Chalk up another multi hit game for this guy. He is absolutely a bad player. We have a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. Yeah. At the plate now, Scooter Jeanette. Oh. So watch one miss down and in for a ball one and oh.
And a fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2 and 0. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. 3 and 0 to him now. First and second here with nobody out. And oh, he thought that was ball four, but yep. it's called three a strike. And three and one now. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And nearly a three run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. And another foul ball. Payoff pitch on its way. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Stepping in now, Cole Calhoun. What a look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. Runners are at first and second with one away. Ball, ball two. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Into the corner and slicing foul. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Carson Kelly waits on deck. First and second now, one man out. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Again, he sends it out of play. a change up in there for a cold third strike and that's the second out of the inning. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities and when they've had them like right now it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Into the box now Carson Kelly as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. So far this season with runners in scoring position Kelly is below the Mendoza line batting average under 200 unfortunately Matty he struggled against right handed pitching all season long but he just needs a few knocks today maybe to get the confidence going I don't think this is the norm for this ball player pops this one up Forsythe is there to make the catch and his side is retired Diamondbacks strand a pair. They trail six to one. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. comes the first pitch swing and there it goes deep to left field and gone an absolute bomb the solo shot here to left number 14 on the season as it's now a six run ball game
Well, when you groove the first pitch a strike, these hitters are going to make you pay. Something tells me I don't have to tell the guy in the mound that anymore. That hurts. And now, Jake Jake Bruce, the center fielder. Yeah. Lifted down the line in left. Bruce. And that will end up a foul ball. But this one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny D, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts to jump out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 1 2. Forty innings on his line so far, and has an ERA he'd like to see come down a bit. Starts the day in the high fours. <laughs> two and zero oh now. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a two zero -oh count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. Looked like that swing was in slow motion. Two and one. And he misses again. Ball three. Logan Forsythe will be next. Base is empty here with nobody out. Fastball in there. Three and two. Three and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first half. Anytime you get rookies just breaking into the big leagues, you have to expect now a certain amount of this. There aren't any easy at bats at this level, and you really have to learn how to slow the game down in your head because everything feels like it's so much faster up here. Into the box, Logan Forsythe. As he will take a look at a fastball in there. That strike zone expands just a little. It's 0-1. He's two for three and looking for more here. O-2. 
one. Here's the pitch. Grounder down the line at third. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Well, I think it's safe to say the ice has melted on this guy. He had been cold coming into this game. But that being his third round, I guarantee you my man's smiling on the inside. Corey Dickerson will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 12, Corey Dickerson. Spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. And he's safe. That was a great job of driving that ball through. Extending his arms very well. He was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Plate now, Gene Segura. And his oh, first pitch down. misses to him. It's ball one. Previous matchups with Boxberger, he's hitless in six tries. Runners are at second and third with one down. And this winds up inside for a ball. Two and oh now. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Sometimes it's yeah. hard to explain what a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another. Some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. At the plate now, Andrew Benintendi. He oh, swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. Oh, 0 and 2, the count of Benintendi. Now the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup. El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in the back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like you did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. Lays off 1 and 0. Runners at the corners, two men out. That Aye. one's a called strike. Back even at 1. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. 1-1 one, one pitch. Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Phillies nine and the D-backs one. Morgan Rodriguez comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 24, Morgan Rodriguez. Stepping into the box, Nick Ahmed starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional.
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. The 0-1 on its way. Slow little roller to third. Right to him. Throw on the first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The right fielder, number four, Patel Marte. Digging in the switch hitter, Patel Marte. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot late. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Waiting on it is Ben Intendi. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now back the center fielder. Starling Martel. Coming to the plate now. Scarlett Marte. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. Line drive to center field. Well, he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so the four game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic the press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. Nine to one is the way this one ends. The Philadelphia Phillies get their 20th home win this year. Francisco Liriano wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.